Coking coal is a key raw material in steel production. As iron occurs only as iron oxide in the earth's crust, the ore must be converted or reduced using the carbon to be later used in steel production. Globally, steel production nearly doubled between 1990 and 2010 when production reached 1,417 million metric tons. By 2020, the production of steel reached 1,864 million metric tons with China and India contributing as the two top steel producing nations. This also led to the mushrooming of smaller coke plants without any technical equipment for operation. Meghalaya in India's northeastern region has been a hotbed of this growth in recent years. Meghalaya has witnessed mushrooming of coke factories. Even as these coke factories have partially provided job opportunities and contributed to the revenue of the state, yet concerns have now been raised by various corners on the ill effects of these plants on the environment and also the health of the people. East Jente Hills became the first destination for East Mojo to get to the root of the problem. So far, locals, especially from the Ilaka Sutna area here, have been complaining of problems in breathing and water being contaminated due to the smoke emitted from the coke factories. Nikki Lamare, a resident of Nongrim Hills in Ilaka Sutna, mentioned irritation in the eyes, rusting of tin rooftops due to the smoke from the coke plants, guava trees covered in black and several other issues. Nadu <laughs> Habangi tia, lani habangi song mau kumbung naong. Te habar ki umbam, habar ki umdi, habar wahap slap, ni cuk cak diang um dari te nalar tin, kahap hasun tek, kah um kebrok kala kumbung klan, kah don gitu sak gitu rong pum pum, kibahap lang bar katu kah halok hasun tek. Te ni mat ya kijing ek kibah pun jat naduk bah wan kene kuk hani hani kah ilka hani tanjung ilka jungi mo naduk bah wan, bar hani kah tanjung jungi hani Hanong rimhil ni don haduk sandali kiku, bar anda kiki thang ya kini kiku, kita dem hau hau kilawan barok saudong hapok cinong pok tahu kujungi. Teh ngai ya semua ilok jong piru mentah indon hayeng ide indon saya semua bah pilah benda. Ah ilok jong ngai indon hayeng indon kila lituk duai, mentah kipi pang hakas sedem. Bayok lesi kani kajing pang, kalau pang haduk arne lais ni haduk tiaw, lapang kau ong set kerendang kajonga, tengam tim ngang lek percang pet struktur kaji ayu. Yo le si dem ta kan ni kat dem bagi lamat man kas ni habang itia habang isong ni mat yang kini kita dem yo le si bag dem dem ta kini kijing sma kijing tung lebat la ni lekset kerendang bag yang aruk mentang asnya oka kerendang dengan kam clear su. Tik kini ki effects on view i mentang kat no por vila i kelas sedang turut efisia. Nado um tu lah si tiaw um tu tam tiaw um tu. The otherwise picturesque Nongrim Hills. Houses around 80 families, 
the setting up of coke factories have turned out to be a double whammy for Rida Bare, who is also a thyroid patient. เดี๋ยวมามามีนับทันแต่กัดว่าเดี๋ยวอ่ะโอ้กุดเหล่าเอ็มไทรอยด์เดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเอริแต่อัดได้ปอร์ดังมันน
from West Kasiyas district of Meghalaya. Here too, people have complained of having problems in breathing and chest pain. The water here that once used to be clear and drinkable without any need for filtration is now contaminated. The residents here say that it has become sticky and has oil sediments in it. However, social organizations and activists from the district claim that most of the coke factories have illegally obtained no objection certificates. We surely knew that there are many factories living in, uh, operating in those areas. They are operating illegally. From our side, we will never sit idle or we will never stop or agitating against it. We will still keep it fighting against it and opposing it as they, all of those they were illegal. Although some of them, they are legally getting the NOC from the state government. So we heard there are some news that there are some people threatening about opposing these factories. From our side, the Joint Action Committee against the illegal factories in Shalang, we haven't received such information yet. And if even though we receive such information, we will never back off or we will never stop opposing it. But what is a coke factory? Coke is produced by heating coal at high temperatures for long periods of time through a process called thermal distillation or pyrolysis. Coal is usually thermally distilled for 15 to 18 hours, but the process can take up to 36 hours. The temperature of the ovens ranges between 900 and 1100 degrees Celsius. Setting up a coke factory also requires acquiring various documents and clearances from several departments. Over 48 coke factories operating in East Jaintia Hills are currently under the scanner. Some factories have been set up at a close distance, while others seem to have violated all the norms put in place by the Meghalaya State Pollution Control Board. Uh, with regards to West Khasi Hills, uh, uh, only a few units have been granted uh, consent to establish uh, by the State Pollution Control Board. A majority of them are, you can put it as term illegal because uh, without obtaining the necessary clearances, they have established the unit and operated. We have uh, filed a case in the district court and we are waiting for the court to uh, do the necessary uh, procedure as per mandated by the law. Uh, the East Jainty Hills uh, issue is uh, primarily there are um, uh, units, they have obtained single window agency clearance, but then only uh, uh, some of them have applied for consent to establish. However, uh, about uh, eight to nine of them have uh, obtained consent to establish and have obtained consent to operate in compliance to the terms and conditions as stipulated by the State Pollution Control Board. During the routine inspection and when it was brought to our notice also that uh, a lot of illegal uh, units have uh, sprung up, uh, we have gone for a site inspection and uh, through the process of uh, inspection we have identified about 30 which uh, have come up uh, prior to a grant of consent to establish. So closure notice have been issued to them and uh, the recent inspection done on 6th of September, uh, we have verified that uh, uh, 29 out of the 30 have uh, actually closed down, complied to the closure notice issued by the State Pollution Control Board. According to the Directorate of Commerce and Industries, 48 coke factories in East Jaintia Hills have been granted the single window agency permit. Of the 48, at least 44 started operating. However, the Environment Coordination Committee alleges that only 10 of them are legal and 34 of them are illegal. 31 of them have been operating without obtaining the consent to establish and 3 of them have the consent to establish but do not have other requisite documents. Meanwhile, 21 coke factories have been granted the single window agency permit in West Khasi Hills, of which 17 have been found operating illegally. The Environment Coordination Committee however, claims that the number of coke factories across Meghale is a distorted figure as the numbers do not tally when compared to those with various departments. Really, even in the government also, they don't have the uh, solid, uh, uh, let me say, answer to that because there is not a tally, you know, number of uh, coke plants. 
in the uh, in Jantia, East Jantia Hill District. Because in yes, uh, in the Department of Directorate of uh, Commerce Industries, we found there are uh, 48 number of coke factories have been granted with uh, single window approvals where this uh, department is concerning only with the single window and the same it, it is tally with the uh, MSPCB that uh, state uh, pollution control board but however we find in some other departments it's not tally we find out like from the ELECA there are 55 and from the Janja Hills uh, Autonomous District Council, 38. So, when we come to the point directly, there is no tally of the numbers. But when physically, if we examine it and we are from there, we know the, um, the exact number. There are 31 that have been established without consent to establish that city and uh, 10 have been granted with CTO that is consent to operate and 3 uh, with CTE that means uh, um, CTO 10, CTE 3 and uh, the rest 31 are totally illegal. Even as closure notices have been served to most of the illegally operating coke factories, social organizations are not happy with the government's decision. They are demanding permanent closure and physical action from the government. Meanwhile, most of the coke factories have been exempted from obtaining the environment impact assessment since their production is less than 25,000 metric ton per annum. Reading War, legal advisor of the Environment Coordination Committee, claims to have proof of the coke factories producing more than 25,000 metric ton every year. Uh, during the uh, zero hour session um, and the uh, issue was raised by the honorable uh, representative from the maulai uh, and even response from the uh, concern uh, minister that uh, forest and environment uh, in charge minister uh, sir james sangma so first reply i'm really de delighted with that he said that all disco plans Production is below 25,000. So they don't fall under the purview of EIA. EIA is the Environment Impact Assessment, Notification 2006. We totally agree with Honorable Minister, stating that it, they fall under, uh, they don't fall under the purview of the EIA. Fine, no problem. But it is the duty of the government, the EIA, EIA also clearly mentioned that it is the duty of the government to frame guidelines, norms and criterions for all those below 25,000 metric tons. Second thing that, they um, agree that they said that they all below 25,000. However, the ECC have a solid proof that there are coke plants which have a production more than 25,000 metric tons. This information neither SIA nor MOF or even the concern minister does not know anything about this. But we have a solid proof that they have a production more than 25,000. Since the concern minister have stated that it is, it is, not, it is below 25, they don't, they, they don't have any hand on that. Even the CIA have uh, mentioned in the, I, I saw in this long times, he said that they don't fall under the purview of EIA, we don't have hands on this. But I have a documents with me, uh, the ECC, there are co plans, half production, clearly mentioned that more than 25,000. However, they are flouting and they don't follow all the criteria of the EIA. This, I think the government should take a strong action against the co plans. And uh, even SIA, the, the State Environment Impact Assessment Authority, should come and should uh, uh, come forward and uh, they should not be hesitant to contact the ECC members who have all the documents to, to prove them that there are plans have production more than 25,000 metric tons, which is clearly um, fall under uh, EIA 8, not season 2006, and uh, also that they have to uh, follow 
uh, all criteria and uh, according to the IA. Chief Minister Conrad Sangma, meanwhile, has decided to stick to his warmed over statement on closing down any illegal coke factory, but does not point to any strict repercussions for those who started them illegally in the first place. Yeah, people uh, in fact uh, apply for uh, uh, permits uh, under single window to open up coke plants uh, and the single window agency based on different criteria, uh, grants the single window. Uh, but at the same time, the provisions for uh, different uh, environmental clearances are also required to be taken. Therefore, only when the environmental aspects are uh, you know, within a certain limit and measures are taken to protect that, only then the permissions are given. As a state government, it is our duty to make sure that uh, there is industrial development. But at the same time, it's important for us to also ensure that the environment is not affected. So we try to work out balancing both. And based on that, only we're taking decisions. But obviously, if the economy, uh, the, sorry, the ecology and the environment is being impacted, we will ensure that whatever steps need to be taken to protect that will be done. Now, there have been many cases in which individuals have uh, opened up many uh, plants that are mushrooming without any permission. So government has swiftly acted on them and we have closed down all those plants that are there. And if there are any further plants that are coming up like this, and if information comes to us, the government takes appropriate action and ensures that things are closed. Working on the story also brought us across this video that brings forth the unhygienic and unsafe working conditions in these coke factories. Along with its impact on the environment, this also raises serious concerns on the health of the people working in these factories. While pressure mounts on the government with demands for the closure and dismantling of the coke plants, it has been left with no option but to constitute an expert technical committee which will undertake a comprehensive study on all the aspects of the coke plants in Meghalaya, including environment and public health and act accordingly. It remains to be seen if the recommendations will be in favour of the residents of East Jainty Hills District and West Khasi Hills District. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.